finally sleeps here. With FIFA Mobile 20 on the near horizon, I thought it'd be a good time to give EA my wish list for improvements to the game. My top five, if you will. Now this isn't stupid run of the mill crap like fix the bugs or add squad building challenges. Um, not that those are stupid requests, those are intelligent requests, um, they just go without saying. No, this list is the top five things that could be very easily implemented into FIFA Mobile 20 without changing the game mechanics or structure. Simple changes that would go a long way to make the game much more realistic. In addition to my top five, I have a few that are very nearly made the list. Um, I'll add those in at the end. Before we get into all that, let me first remind you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And don't forget to check out FinallySleeps.com where I post daily on all kinds of stuff, mostly about FIFA Mobile. Uh, but there's also other bloggy type brain dribble there as well. Give it a visit. Maybe consider joining our EPL Fantasy League for prizes at the end of the season. Info on that is at FinallySleeps.com too. All right, back to the top five wish list on ways to improve FIFA Mobile to make the new season more realistic. Number five, don't stop the clock. This is probably the simplest thing from my top five and more cosmetic than tactical, but since this is the top five things that would make FIFA Mobile more realistic, not stopping the clock needed to be on the list no matter what. In football, soccer for my American subscribers, the clock doesn't stop. That's one of the things that makes the game so appealing and fast paced. Unlike other American sports where 60 minutes of actual play takes hours and hours and hours to get through because we have to pause every time someone on the field drops the ball or needs to tie their shoe or the quarterback farts funny. The clock needs to stay running. Here's my suggestion and again this is simply cosmetic. When the ball goes out of play or there's a goal in match play, campaign play, or league versus league, instead of stopping the clock altogether, all it needs to do is slow down to real time. It's an accelerated clock during gameplay, so just slow it down to tick off the seconds while the game cycles. It's a simple change, much more realistic FIFA Mobile. Number four, allow us to set the player's numbers. Now, because some of us are fanboys and really want to make sure our squad is outfitted with the proper numbers when we have mixed teams, this is important. For example, if you have Neymar and Mane in the same squad, which one gets the number 10? The player numbers actually come into play on corners, too. Uh, when you send a ball in from the left side, you see the backs of their jerseys and have no issue finding your giant center back based on their player number. Now, on the other hand, when you're at the right corner, it's a bit tougher to distinguish which player is which by their character graphics only. And we'll come back to that at the end. Number three, allow us to set player responsibilities. Now, just talking about taking corners. The default player designated to kick corners isn't always the ideal player to kick your corners. Same thing with penalties and free kicks. Another console attribute that would be a major game changer in FIFA Mobile for the advanced player is the ability to set which player takes various free kicks based on their attributes and your preference rather than games default. More so being able to choose which player pulls up for skill games as well along those same settings would be fan freaking tastic. Just saying. Number two, add foot skills. The lane change role added in the past season for defenders was a welcome change, but it's time to get rid of the rainbow. In FIFA Mobile 18, it was so effective it became the go-to for all attackers, which is ridiculous. It's unrealistic. Um, it's so unrealistic, it's just dumb. It just dumbs the game down. The roulette or Maradona that has become the go-to for FIFA Mobile 19 is fine, yet it's still not a realistic foot skill for its frequency. Step overs, Cruyff cuts, scissors, those are the most frequently used and most realistic skill move in the sport, yet they have never been really predominant in the game. A game mechanic that allowed for multiple skill moves, uh, the higher their ball control and, or dribbling statistic reached, the more moves you got, something like that. Please, just something. As long as the rainbow is gone. Number one, 
switch fields at the half. The biggest problem with FIFA Mobile 19, in my opinion, is the left to right play dynamic that is nothing dynamic about it. No matter what, you're always attacking left to right. This drastically cuts down the game. Um, it's it's so static. Uh, this means that all of your attacks come from the right side, meaning left wings are now secondary. It also means that defensively, everyone loads their left side because we know that's where most of their opponents will be attacking into. Switching sides at the half would require formations to be set up without weighting the playing field. This goes for all types of match play, from head-to-head, -to, -head, to campaign matches, to versus. If versus randomly chose a home team and an away team, and you either attacked left to right or right to left, it would completely change the way we go about building our squads. Something that seems so simple to players would go a long way to making FIFA Mobile more realistic and more interesting. Of my top five, this is the likely the most involved change to admit, but it's also the most needed change to make FIFA Mobile more realistic moving forward. Alright, that's the top five. But as promised, there are a few more notable mentions I wanted to address. Going back to taking corners. From the left side, we have their player numbers to distinguish who's who, but on the right side of the field, something is needed to make it easier. Maybe an informational eye in the top of the screen that when clicked popped up the player's names the way we see during gameplay for the player you're controlling or the ball carrier on the other team. Another fix would go a long way with the number three, uh, setting player responsibilities, will be choosing which player is the target on corners as a default and then just sending the ball in um, as a default. That would work too. Um, kind of dumbed down, but it would work. If we're talking about making the game more realistic though, EA could always add in injury factors or even contracts. That was our old staples in the console game. Both would be interesting additions to the mobile version. Another wish list item would be better control over jerseys. Rather than choosing a full kit, it would be nice to be able to choose home, away, and special separately. Or better yet, the ability to change your jerseys during an event if the colors were causing a problem. Last, which would be a massive plus, would be the ability to have a set of plain default jerseys that changed everyone on the field to black, white, and the referee in yellow. Put player numbers on the front and back, front and back, uh, and that would fix the corner issue at the same time. I want to mention that I've always been an advocate for colorblind settings in games, which is the reason for my mentioning the jerseys. Early on in the season, I was constantly bitching about the new jersey kits as it related to being colorblind and without being, without bringing much attention to it. EA has gotten this fixed. Ever since spring, it, it's, it's no longer been a major factor. Thank you, Electronic Arts. Uh, that effort that you put into this has not gone unnoticed, especially by your, your colorblind players. Another item for this wish list that was in the back of my mind for a long time was awarding corners when they are earned. After a spring update, EA made a change where corners were not awarded at every opportunity. The excuse was that they were trying to cut down on time wasting on timed events. This was horrible, especially when the event required a minimum number of goals to complete. Now they've since compromised with bringing back corners as they earned as they were earned with one exception. In versus in league versus league, if you earn a corner while taking a corner, the second one is not awarded. Now I'm fine with that, but moving forward, remember how important this aspect of the game is, especially in match play and campaigns. If we earn a corner, damn it, we want it. That's about it. The beta for FIFA Mobile 20 is out now, uh, and I'm not impressed so far. However, it's still early, EA has plenty of time to iron it out and add in some new features to keep us interested in moving forward. In other words, uh, there's still time to see this wish list and implement a few of it before the end of September. Hint, hint, hint. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. As always, make sure you check out FinallySleeps.com. As long as you keep watching, I'll keep making videos. Thanks for watching. 
Maybe check out one of these other videos next. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Visit my site, finallyhesleeps.com, for daily posts about FIFA Mobile and other various brain vomit. Plus, if you get really bored, you can find merchandise and my latest comedy album, Life Before the Internet, at the links below. Like, down at the bottom, those links.